and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, De Lovely. My name is Christina Elise, and I am going to be making a Cinco de Mayo dish, or inspired by Cinco de Mayo, um, a, what is it? It's, it's an enchilada and chili pepper mac and cheese with cauliflower. Um, it was supposed to be accompanied by my recipe of yesterday, the candied jalapenos, but if you watch that, you'll see that I botched that recipe by subbing out white sugar with coconut sugar, which made everything dark brown and didn't come together, and it was a complete failure. Um, technically, I was challenged yesterday as well, and I went on to make this recipe, which I did. Um, when I was editing it, I realized that about halfway through, the sound began, woof, 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 woof. My voice would go in and out like that. And became completely unusable. Um, any sound people out there that might know why a wireless mic would do that halfway through the day and then recover and stop doing it, I'd love to know. Um, it wasn't a battery issue. Um, so now I'm making the whole thing over again, and I considered just putting on the same outfit and pretending that it was editing together the two days worth of stuff and hoping it matched, but I realized I'm not good enough at hair and makeup to make that match, and I had a chance to wear a different dress, so why not? Hello, and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, De Lovely. So I'm making the whole thing over again. Seriously? Um, and I'm going to do a few things differently. Uh, yesterday I used a blender to blend the cauliflower that I'm going to be blending right now. Uh, now I'm using a, a food processor because the blender just had a hard time with it and uh... I can do it in a blender, but it needs more water, and I don't want to add a lot of water to this. So I'm going to begin. Bear with me. Um, so to start, what we're going to do is this is a head of cauliflower, a big head of cauliflower, that I just boiled for like five minutes. Um, I'm going to puree it with water, as little water as I can get away with using though. So we'll see what that turns out to be. I'm sniffing too. I sniff all the time. I apologize. All right, so I have a cup of water here. You could use stock even. I've never done it with stock, but stock could be a good option. You give me some more flavor. I'm going to add the rest of this cauliflower. Um, I also boiled a, a pound of cavatappi uh, pasta and another head of cauliflower. That cauliflower I just boiled in with the pasta because it's going to go into the mac and cheese, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. This is going to get mixed in with the cheese to make a half cauliflower based cheese sauce. All right, I'll be right back with the stuff for the cheese sauce. Okay, I'm back. We are going to continue making the cheese sauce. So while this pan heats up, is it hot? Ooh, yeah, it's hot. I'm going to add four tablespoons of Earth Balance. Um, 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 
vegan butter. Let that melt. And I'm going to, once it melts, I'm going to add four tablespoons of flour to begin the roux. While this melts, let me try to explain why uh, things like yesterday happened to me. I woke up like on March 15th, just out of bed and said, I'm starting a YouTube channel. I hadn't considered doing it before. I hadn't prepared to do it. I hadn't invested in any equipment. I hadn't taken any tutorials. I hadn't done anything. I just came down here in the kitchen and I made uh, my first video facing that direction, facing the stove. Uh, it was without edit, so I didn't know how to edit either. The only thing I know how to edit on is Avid, and I don't own an Avid, so I didn't uh, have any ability to edit. So I had to do all one take and it had to work and, or it had to start over again. Um, so I've been, it's a learning curve. I've been learning to edit. I've been learning to. I bought, a, you know, I bought some lights. I bought a mic. I've been investing, and every time I'm really proud of myself. I think I've made some technological leap that makes things better. I know too many people in the business, and they have eyes and ears that are uh, sharper than mine, and they see my amateurism on parade and uh, offer helpful tips that I'm apparently not prepared to, or, you know, uh, what's the word, um, I guess, talented enough to totally incorporate. All right, that's uh, nice and melted. I'm going to put in the flour. And just whisk that. It gets thick very quickly. We want that. All right, now I'm going to add some green enchilada sauce from a can. Two cups. I'm going to add it incrementally and let it thicken between each addition. Thickens pretty fast. This is a nice hot pan. So as I was saying, I get advice to fix sound, to fix things, and then I'm just not talented enough to, to fix it properly or fix it the first time. So bear with me. I'm a one-man show here. I do everything. I'm not good at hair and makeup and I have to do that. I'm not good at lighting and recording sound. I'm not good at, I have to do that. I'm not good at editing and I gotta do that. The only thing I can do is cook and write. And, uh, and even yesterday the cooking went wrong, so. And the problem is I live by myself and all this food that I make, I have to eat. Now I'm gonna have two gigantic mac and cheese trays all for myself. I can't eat all that. I gotta find somewhere to go. I have to get invited somewhere and bring it. Add the last of this, it looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to add veggie or vegan cheese. I'm adding a package of this Go Veggie, uh, this, is, this is cheddar, Go Veggie Cheddar. Yesterday I used my favorite cheese. This is uh, field roast Cheo slices in the, in the tomato cayenne flavor. Makes a really great nacho cheese if you just um, melt it in a pan like this and add a can of Rotel or something, and that's it. You got you got your queso. But of course, for today, I couldn't find anybody that had it in stock, so I'm using this Go Veggie, which is neon orange. I'm gonna add this to the sauce and let it melt. Actually, I'm not gonna use a whisk anymore. I'm gonna use spatula. Stir this in. Hopefully it'll melt as nicely as the Cheo slices did. Yesterday I did a little cheese review. Okay, mix that up. Now, Field Roast makes three flavors of this cheese. Um, I have all three here. This is their creamy original and they have coconut. Coconut what? Coconut herb. For my money, they're the best vegan cheeses uh, on the market. I love them. They melt really well. I don't know if they melt so well like on a burger or something, but they melt well like this in a pan. And, uh, and that has value, especially with creamy sauces. Um, while that melts, I wanted to talk about some other vegan cheeses actually that I like. Among them are these Follow Your Heart um, cheeses. This American is really good. It melts very well on a burger. I, I did a demonstration with the Beyond Burger, the one that looks like ground beef. And I used this cheese. It was amazing. It melted like just like great cheese. I haven't tried the provolone yet, but I have high hopes. Um, but I also like this Parmella Creamery stuff. Um, this is shredded the way Daya is. I don't like Daya. I think it has a funny taste. Um, but this aged nut cheese, which is really an unfortunate, unfortunate thing to call something people are going to cook with. Aged nut cheese, really? 
Um, but despite that name, the unappetizing name, it's really great stuff and it melts on a pizza in the oven pretty well. And this is a half used uh, package of pepper jack slices, also wonderful. And last but not least, I have a package of Go Veggie slices here, individual slices. These are good if you're trying to fool somebody uh, into eating vegan cheese uh, and not knowing it because they come in unmarked little, so no one can tell what it is once it's out on the barbecue table or whatever. Um, but it's, not, it's good, it's good, but it's not my favorite stuff. For my money, I'm going with the uh, field roast and the follow your heart. And the aged nut cheese. Seriously? Okay, this is getting a little melty. I gotta tell you, to do to spend the whole day uh, shooting one of these things, and at the end of the day find out I have nothing, it was sort of soul crushing. I felt very cheated. It's like we're doing a whole day of work and not getting paid for it, and realizing you have to go back to work the next day to do the same whole day of work just to get the one day's pay. All right, that's pretty melted. I'm going to add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. I'm turn the heat down a little bit. This is very, very, very bubbly. I don't want to burn it. I can't have any more failures, my God. Moxie! Now I'm going to add. It'll be interesting, I guess, to taste side by side. This one made with the Go Veggie slices and yesterday's made with the Cheo. I'm adding a can of green chilies. It's a four ounce can of green chilies. I didn't even drain that. Stir that in. Ooh, they smell spicy. Like my friend Elise says, that's a spicy meatball. This is one fresh jalapeno chopped up. Such a shame about those candied jalapenos. And it's a big clump in here. It's solid, just stuck. I don't, they, yeah, hear that? That's not good. They're really, really good. Don't take my failure as any sign that the recipe was not good, because it is. All right, what else do we have here? Oh. By the way, this can had more than I needed. It had this much more than I needed. I kept it. I was going to put it in. I thought maybe it'd be too wet. Uh, but I, I don't throw it away. Keep it in case you, your, your sauce does get too dry. Or even when you serve it, it might be a nice little drizzle on top of it. Warm it up and drizzle it on top of the mac and cheese when it's done. Okay, now I'm going to add our pureed cauliflower. If you have chunks in it, it doesn't matter because there's going to be chunks of cauliflower in the pasta, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, stir that up. So the good part about this is that half of this cheese sauce is just steamed cauliflower. And if you have a one pound head of cauliflower you're adding to the one pound of pasta, that's half your pasta is cauliflower too. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't mind losing a few pounds. But I don't want to give up mac and cheese. That's crazy talk. All right, and finally, the secret ingredient, the magic bullet for this, is fresh corn. I cut corn off the off two cobs, toss these. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. Fresh corn, you could use frozen corn, you could use canned corn, but fresh corn really is worth that extra effort. What does it take? A couple of minutes to cut the corn off the I didn't even cook it, it's raw. Raw, sweet, beautiful corn into that cheese sauce. Try to buy organic corn if you can. Corn is so GMO'd. I don't know if you buy into the GMO thing. I do. My friend Rob does not. He th tells me I'm crazy and I'm just buying a line. I don't know what people, what investment people would have in making up that GMOs are potentially not good for you. I don't think they're legal in other countries, so that's not a good sign. So most corn is, most soy is for that matter. So it's pretty difficult to avoid it, but if you can, why not, right? Why take, if you can, if you can avoid it as easily as to eat it, I say avoid it. All right. So now I'm going to get a big bowl and I'm going to toss this with the pasta and cauliflower 
and then we're going to stick it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's my big bowl. I'm going to, oof, this cheese sauce weighs 4,000 pounds. Put the cheese sauce in there. Whoop. And then I'm going to dump in my pound of cooked cavatappi and steamed cauliflower. Whoop. There it is. It just came out in a big lump. All right, I gotta mix that up. Okay, seriously, this is a boatload of food. Yesterday I was commenting on how inexpensive it is. The pasta cost maybe a dollar twenty-five for the bag of pasta. The cauliflower was like they were like a dollar and a half a piece. The enchilada sauce was a dollar. The cheese, I got the cheese, this particular, the go veggie cheese is on sale for three fifty. It's not an expensive meal. When it's done, you're gonna want to garnish it with something expensive. Garnish it with beautiful avocado and your favorite hot sauces and stuff like that. Alrighty, this is getting pretty well combined. I forgot to add salt and pepper. I'm gonna add that now. Salt and pepper. This is a lot of pasta. I'm gonna go with a full on tablespoon or so of salt. Don't be afraid of salt. And pepper too, why not? Let's go. Eh. That's a tablespoon. I'm gonna go two. Woo! It's even more than two. Gotta mix this around though. I don't want any salty pockets. Salty pockets. All right. Now this is mixed up. I'm going to grease a casserole pan, which I have right here. I'm going to grease it with a little olive oil cooking spray. I'm gonna dump this in there. Oh, some spilled out. That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. Oops. Get in there, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna mush this down in there. Ooh, it's a lot, lot, lot. It's bigger than my one yesterday. I must have used bigger cauliflower. Okay, an important, if you're gonna serve this in the same pan you're cooking it, which is likely, um, you're gonna wanna wipe down the edges of this cheese and stuff so that it doesn't burn on the edges and look ugly when it comes out of the oven. So I have a big mess on this side, you guys can't see it. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna wipe the edges clean all the way around. And I'm gonna to top it with, what a mess I'm making on this cloth. I'm gonna to top it with breadcrumbs. I'm using panko, any kind of breadcrumbs work. You don't have to do this. It makes for a nice crusty top though, and I like that. Some people don't, some people don't want the added carbohydrate. Whatever your deal is, you do you. And now my secret with this is to spray it again with a little olive oil because this kind of cheese doesn't have a lot of fat in it and real cheese gets brown and bubbly, but vegan cheese doesn't often. So I'm gonna give it a little help to brown it. Sure, it blows things around, makes a mess, but whatever. Yesterday, I topped this with little tiny red cut up uh, jalapeno, like diced jalapeno. and they got burned. So another of my fails yesterday. So I'm gonna to top this one with green jalapeno rings. Randomly, doesn't matter. Watch these burn too. All right, there she is. She goes into the oven now like this for half an hour, 45 minutes, and uh, I'll get back to you when she's out. All right, I'm back and she's done. She was in the oven for about 35 minutes and came out looking like this, perfect 
golden crispy goodness on top, creamy yumminess inside, would fool a non-vegan. It doesn't. It's not going to taste vegan, I promise. I thought that's a bad thing, but you could fool people. Don't tell them if they don't have to know. Let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes before you cut into it, and then serve it with your favorite garnish. I would serve it with some diced tomato, some chopped up avocado, some cilantro, and my favorite hot sauce, which is crystal, or sriracha, Cholula, hot sauce of your choice. I got some good news today. I have somewhere to go with this dish and the one from yesterday. I am going to have dinner with my friend Stuart and his friend Puddles, and Puddles' his wife. Puddles is, if you don't know who he is, look him up here on YouTube. He is the sad clown with the golden voice, and he is tremendous, amazing live. I've seen him a few times. You should go. It's a great show for all ages. Your parents will love it. Your kids will love it. Everyone will love it. Um, and he is, he's a turning vegan clown. Um, so he'll be eating this very dish tonight. That's very exciting for me to have somewhere to go with this thing, because I don't want to eat four pounds of macaroni and cheese, as delicious as it is, <laughs> as much fun as that would be. So that is my recipe for enchilada, <laughs> spicy pepper mac and cheese with cauliflower. So that's it. My name is Christine Elise. This is Delightful, Delicious, to Lovely. Please come back. Thank you for being patient with all my failures, my two days of just nothing going right. Oh, mother fuck you. And uh, please come back, please subscribe. I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, thanks, happy Cinco de Mayo.